Welcome. I am Karen Brady, Educational Consultant at Patton Harrisburg, and today I will be discussing the importance of handwriting instruction and its application to the writing of numerals accurately and fluently. You may be wondering, why do I need to teach handwriting? We have so many technology options for communication and writing. Despite advances in computer technology, research supports the argument that today's students still need instruction in handwriting. First, learning to form letters by hand improves perception of letters and contributes to better reading and spelling. Secondly, automatic letter writing promotes better composing, both the amount written and for the quality of writing. Dr. Virginia Berninger and others have explained that writing by hand activates different areas of the brain than when keyboarding, and that writing by hand is still an important area of instruction. Dr. Steve Graham cites a considerable body of work indicating that done right, early handwriting instruction improves students' writing, not just its legibility, but its quantity and quality. Research also shows that students who learn from teachers with professional training in handwriting demonstrate more improvement in their handwriting and in transfer to better composing. Thus, professional development for teachers in handwriting instruction is important. Educators can set up their students for academic success by choosing an instructional program for handwriting, providing adequate professional development for teaching handwriting, and assessing students' development of legible and automatic handwriting. There has been much research on handwriting as it pertains to letters and literacy. Just like students who struggle with letter formation, students who struggle with handwriting of numerals must also devote working memory to the act of forming numbers, a lower level cognitive skill, leaving them with less working memory to devote to higher level cognitive tasks such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and the application of those operations for word problems and mathematical tasks. If the child cannot write numerals automatically, speed of performing written math tasks could be very slow, and math assignments may not be completed on time or accurately. Efficiency of problem solving and working memory may also be compromised on paper pencil math tasks because numeral writing is not automatic. If the students cannot efficiently form numerals, they cannot calculate efficiently. If the students are inconsistent in numeral formation, they will be incapable of fluently and effortlessly completing mathematical tasks without laboring over how they form the numerals. Handwriting is an essential communication skill developed through a variety of instructional methods in school. Researchers have studied the importance of handwriting for improving students' performance, and they have proved that using the hand in writing activates many regions in the brain that are related to memory and comprehension. Working memory is a temporary memory system for storing and processing letter and number forms in the mind's eye. That is, our eyes provide a window through which the written language we read and write enters our mind, which in turn has an inner eye for viewing and analyzing letters and written words and numbers as we read and write. We use the mind's ear through auditory rehearsal and the mind's eye through a visual spatial sketch pad to help us to remember. Let's use the example of being given a phone number and having to remember it to illustrate the mind's eye and the mind's ear. You are on the telephone and the other person is giving you a phone number for you to remember. While you are searching for the pad of paper to write the number down, do you repeat the number to yourself using your mind's ear to rehearse it? If you are listening to someone who is talking to you while you are trying to remember that number, you will have a harder time remembering it. While trying to find the pad of paper, you might visualize where it is in your desk drawer, picturing it in your mind using your mind's eye. 
We use our mind's eye and our mind's ear to help us remember numbers, which is also essential when writing numerals. You will need a piece of paper for this next task. I'm going to show you a number for a few seconds and then I will cover it and then I'd like you to pick your pencil up and write the number down. Ready? Pencils down. Go ahead and write the number down. Please check your response. Did you get the numerals in the correct order? While you were writing the number down, did you rehearse the number? Did you visualize the number using your mind's eye? Let's do another example. Pencils down. Please write down the number. This was probably a harder task. Did you try to rehearse the numerals as you were writing it? Did you visualize the number? Did you chunk the number into manageable parts? We use our mind's ear and or our mind's eye to help us to remember the number so that we can write the number correctly. In upcoming recordings, I will share fluency routines that will help students hold information in their mind's eye in their transition to becoming fluent and automatic. Before we do that, let's take a few moments to review the instructional hierarchy and how it relates to handwriting instruction. The first stage is the acquisition stage. In acquisition, the student has begun to learn how to write numerals correctly, but is not yet accurate or fluent in the skill. The goal in this phase is to improve accuracy, making sure that students are forming the numbers correctly. In this stage, teachers actively demonstrate how to form the numbers correctly. Teachers use think aloud strategies while modeling how to write the numbers using wording about formation and directionality. Students will need models of correct numeral formation. Students will get feedback about how they are doing. And students receive praise and, and encouragement for their efforts. The next stage is the fluency stage. In fluency, the student is able to write numerals accurately and legibly, but works slowly. The goal of this phase is to increase the student's speed of responding. The teacher structures learning activities to give students opportunities for active, observable practice. Students have frequent opportunities with direct repetition and practice of writing numerals. Students get feedback on fluency and accuracy of performance and students receive praise and encouragement for increased fluency. In the generalization stage, the student is accurate and fluent in writing numerals, but does not typically use it in different situations or settings. The goal of this phase is to get the student to use the skill in the widest possible range of settings and situations. Teachers would give academic tasks that require that the student use the handwriting of numerals regularly in assignments. Students receive encouragement, praise, and reinforcement for using the skill in new settings or situations. Students get periodic opportunities to review and practice target skills to ensure maintenance. In the next recording, I will share fluency routines where we will use our knowledge of holding numerals in our working memory using our mind's ear and mind's eye for writing fluency lessons. These are available for your reference. A special thank you to these contributors. Please see other recordings of handwriting of numerals and additional recordings on evidence-based practices on our patent YouTube channel. This is Karen Brady, thanking you for joining me today.